Hey everyone, in this lesson we are going to discuss uh, low voltage and the high voltage fuses. As you know that uh, fuses are used in uh, short circuit protection or protection against uh, short circuit current. So in this lesson we will discuss uh, low voltage fuses or fuses which are used in low voltage level and high voltage fuses which are used in high voltage levels. So the first type which is used in the low voltage is something which is called the semi-enclosed uh, rewirable uh, fuse. Okay, so this type of fuse, as you can see here, this one is called the semi-enclosed rewirable fuse. Okay, this one is similar to this one. So this fuse uh, sometimes is called as KitKat fuse is used when low values of volt current needs to be interrupted. So it is used in the low voltage level or low values of volt current. So as you can see, it consisting of the base. This one is called the base and the consisting of contacts, the two contacts uh, in which our um, phases are connected, the incoming and outgoing phases. And you can see this is the contact. This one is also the contact. And between them, there is a fuse wire. Okay. Here, the fuse wire is inside this one. And this one is the incoming, for example. And here is our going. So let's draw it. So as you can see here, we connect the incoming phase. Okay. And here, we connect the outgoing phase. Okay, for example, this is an, uh, phase A or the first phase, which is R. Okay, and this one is the outgoing phase A or the outgoing R. R is the phase, as you know, the three phase, R, S, C, T. So as an example, this one is connected to the outgoing R, which is going to the load. And here's the incoming. So the connection between the incoming and outgoing, uh, there is between them a small wire. Okay, here which is connecting between the incoming and outgoing. This small wire is called the fuse wire, as you can see here. So when a short circuit occurs, this uh, wire melts and then this circuit is cut off. Okay, so the connection between the incoming and outgoing is cut off. So if we look carefully here about the composition here, this is a base, this base is made from uh, porcelain and carries a fixed contact to which the incoming and outgoing phase wires are connected the incoming and outgoing phase okay these are the fixed contacts the fuse carrier is also made of porcelain and holds the fuse element okay which is of course a thin uh, copper wire between its terminals Okay, you can see here a fuse carrier which carries this fuse wire and also made from porcelain same as the base. The fuse carrier can be inserted in or taken out of the base when desired. So we can uh, remove it from the base, remove it or enter insert it again. Okay, so when a fault current occurs, for example, this wire melts. So if we would like to change it, we can take out the base or take out the fuse carrier, not the base, the fuse carrier, replace it with another fuse carrier, which have a fuse. So when a fault occurs, the fuse element is blown out or melts and the circuit is interrupted or cut off. So the fuse carrier is taken out from the base and the blowing out fuse element is replaced by a new one with a new fuse wire then we insert this fuse carrier back reinsert it back in the base to restore the supply so here inside here we have the fuse carrier which carries the fuse wire when a fault occurs this fuse wire um, is blown out so we remove the fuse carrier and replace it with a new one which have a new um, fuse okay or not a blown out fuse the second type is called the high rupturing capacity or uh, fuse or, or hrc fuse okay it has a different types this type is called the cartridge fuse type this one is used in the low voltage which is known as hrc cartridge fuse um, which is used in low voltage level 
uh, how it looks like this is the different shapes for it this one is similar to this one this one is connected as you can see here the incoming and outgoing for example okay three phases the incoming and outgoing okay as an example so we have two contacts here one for the incoming and one for the outgoing inside it you can see this is the shape of the um, cartridge inside it you can see the contacts here one here and another one here fuse link contact here and here which is this one and this one and you can see here inside it you have a fuse element inside this uh, cartridge okay which is made of uh, porcelain also and uh, around it you will see a powder here okay now let's see or understand what happens exactly so it consists of a heat resisting uh, ceramic body this is a ceramic body this one which has a metal end caps as you can see metal end caps this one and this one to which is welded a silver current carrying element so as you can see here inside this um, uh, ceramic body you will find the fuse element which is made of a silver you, which is carries the current okay well, that's why it's called a silver current carrying element okay and welded to the two contacts as you can see here to this contact and this contact this fuse element connected to both of them the space within the body surrounding the element which is the fuse element here this is base this is base and this is base inside this um, ceramic body you will find it is completely packed with a filling powder such as marble dust there is a, there are different uh, types of powders as an example of them the marble dust what is the function of this powder it acts as a cooling medium for the arc so as you remember that when this fuse element melts there will be an arc formed between these two contacts okay due to the breakdown of air so we use the powder here as a cooling medium for the arc of or for the formation of arc okay to prevent the occurrence of fire so under normal conditions the temperature of the fuse is below the melting point or the fuse element is below the melting point so it carries the normal current without breaking the circuit however when we are in case of a fault current the current will be very high or increase beyond certain limits and the fuse element will start melting before the fault current reaches its first peak okay so before it reaches the peak value it melts and uh, cut off the circuit so how it melts remember that the uh, current or the energy the energy is equal to power multiplied by time okay so the as the time increases the energy will increase which leads to melting of the element and also the power the power itself is equal to i square multiplied by the resistance so as the value of the current increases i square increases or the value of the current increases the energy dissipated will be really high which leads to a very high amount of temperature or very high um, dissipation of heat energy which will lead to melting of this fuse element so the melting of the fuse element depends on two factors here the first factor is the current as the current increases the energy increases or the heat dissipation increases and also the as the time passes more heat energy will be dissipated which also leads to melting of the fuse element the heat produced causes the vaporization of the melted silver element this fuse element which is made of silver will be uh, uh, vaporized or will lead to vaporization of this uh, element which will lead to a vapor of silver okay due to what due to the very high heat energy so what will happen is that the silver vapor 
and the filling powder such as the marble dust which we said now this powder will interact with uh, silver vapor the vapor which is formed from the melting of um, silver this will lead to a formation due to the chemical reaction between them will lead to formation of a very high resistance substance which helps in quenching the arc or killing the arc okay so that is the benefit of the powder here inside the uh, cartridge uh, fuse now for the high voltage uh, fuses we have a cartridge fuse another one which is different from the high rupturing capacity fuse this one okay works on the same principle but it is different from the previous one the difference it has some extra features such as number one the fuse inside it is wound in the form of helix why uh, or in it has a two fuse elements in parallel in order to prevent the corona effect at the higher voltages okay so the benefit of having two fuse elements or having the shape of a helix is that um, in order to prevent the corona effect remember that the corona effect appears in high voltage levels one of the fuse element of these two fuse elements which are connected in parallel inside this uh, cartridge one of them have a high resistance and another one has a low resistance which are connected in parallel so in case of a normal current or normal operation low resistance wire carries the normal current since they are in parallel so most of the current will go to the low resistant wire okay which blows out in case of a fault okay so remember that we have a two wires in parallel so let's uh, draw it we have a two wires in parallel inside this uh, cartridge one of them which have a high r low and r high high resistance and low resistance so in case of the normal operation what will happen the current will go like here and see a low resistance and high resistance so the current will flow through the low resistance going to the load uh, and most of the current will go through rl and very low amount of current will go through the r high okay now in case of a fault current the current will be very high and also most of the current will go through RL which will lead to what will lead to the blow out of the fuse this wire will be blown out due to the presence of a high temperature and now we will have only the R high or the, the high resistance so this resistance what will happen is that we as if we inserted the high resistance inside our circuit which will lead to reduction of the short circuit current remember that the short circuit current uh, for simplicity will be um, the uh, v over z okay z which is r plus j x l okay so uh, in case of the low resistance the short circuit will be very high which will lead to blowing out of the uh, blow out the uh, low resistance uh, when we have the r high only then the resistance will be high which will lead to lower short circuit current which will reduce the short circuit current in case of a fault now you will see that the high rupturing uh, capacity high voltage fuses the cartridge type is available with a rating of uh, 33 kilovolt with a rupturing capacity of uh, 8700 ampere okay there is another type which is used in high level which is called or high voltage level is called the liquid type high rupturing capacity fuse okay as you can see here this one or the liquid fuse is used in case of a high currents which is related to high voltages it's consisting of a glass tube as you can see here glass tube filled with a solution which is carbon tetrachloride carbon tetrachloride solution and sealed with a press uh, caps at both ends here and here 
the fuse wire is sealed at one end okay and fixed by a strong uh, phosphor bronze spiral spring at another end of the glass tube so as you can see here the fuse link here is connected to uh, one side here and connected to a spring here okay the fuse link connected to one side sealed to one side and to the other side connected to a spring this is spring okay inside the glass tube which is filled with um, carbon tetrachloride solution when the current exceeds the prescribed limits or the short circuit uh, or for example in a short circuit case the fuse wire is blown out this wire will be blown out so what will happen is that this wire was holding this spring okay so let's see this wire for example this is a fuse wire and connected to a spring here okay now what will happen is that when this wire is cut off this spring will move to or um, as the fuse melts the spring it retracts part of it through the liquid director you can see the liquid directory it will retract or uh, shrinks through liquid director so it will be like this it will shrink so it will draw it well into the liquid it will draw is what it will draw the fuse wire it will take the fuse wire here into the liquid okay the liquid here so again the fuse wire melts so this uh, spring will attract this fuse link into the liquid why because the small quantity of gas generated at the point of fusion causes some part of the liquid into the liquid director and there the liquid acts as an arc extinguishing medium for the arc so this arc uh, this um, fuse link when it's attracted to the um, liquid which is a carbon tetrachloride this leads to extinguishing or acts as an extinguishing medium for the arc the fuse blows out when the current exceeds the maximum level the liquid type HRC or the high rupturing capacity fuse used in the protection of the transformer and circuit breaker. Remember that the fuses are much cheaper than and simpler than circuit breakers. So we can use a fuse in order to protect a transformer and circuit breakers. They have uh, withstand current up to 100 ampere. This 100 ampere is the rated current, normal current. And remember that, of course, the current is uh, reduced due to high level of voltages. Okay, high voltage means lower values of current, which means lower cross sectional area. Now, here, as you can see, you can use the up to uh, in systems up to 132 kilovolt. And have a braking capacity in case of a short circuit 6100 ampere there are of course more types of uh, fuses they are this are considered as the most important ones which i discussed in this uh, lesson so i hope this lesson was helpful for you and see you in another lesson